stay on the ground. Mink, mink, get up. Yeet! You stupid. Through this door, we have, uh... Oh, that dude just got folded. Real quick, I just want to say thank you guys for hitting the like goal on the previous video. It really means a lot to me and it tells me that you guys are enjoying the videos. So let's try to do it again. Let's go for 45 likes one more time. Thanks. Previously on Sifu. Or a few, a few skills. Not a hell of them, but a few. I do just got folded kind of crazy though. If I, if I can get execution on here, I'll show, I'll show you why. I'll get on the ground. Oh. Never mind. So I got one parry on him. Gotta spare him. Ooh. I gotta parry him one more time. Say goodnight, motherfucker. Oh! Somebody, oh! He needs some milk. That's fine. My bad, bro. Now I'm just trying to spare you and all. You didn't have to kick me in my face and kill me, but okay. And now our feature presentation. All right, so now we're headed to the club, which is arguably one of the most annoying levels in this game. The level's annoying, the final boss is annoying, the whole thing is annoying. I, I have run this a few times, so I kind of know how things are gonna go, and I am gonna be using shortcuts, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. So this is the club. There are two bums who are just out here chilling. Forget about it. You can just smack him for good luck. You don't have to smack him. But I always smack him just cause, you know, smack him for good luck. Private back. Shut up, dude. You don't want this work. Come on, sir. Yeet. Get hit with that charged up fist. A do me. This is a dude. You can kind of get straight yeah. up clap this dude off for it because he's. Now you come over come here, grab a bat, and try to deal with these dudes. Like I said, you kind of. Dividing, dividing and conquering is kind of key in this game. Having to fight multiple enemies at once can get you killed very easily. Let's get it started. Do me a favor, hold that. Fight. Oh. Nope. Divide and conquer, divide and conquer. Don't be afraid to run away. Get on the ground. Oh, who just threw a bottle at me? You have a bat, I don't like that. Let me go fight this chick, cause she threw a bottle at me, I think. Right? Bop you. Messed up my flow. Oh, he's empowered now. Alright, bro. I'm not gonna cap. This little sweep move is kinda cheese. Alright. Dropped him off. Now we gotta fight this chick. This chick is a little bit dangerous because she has some like invincible kicks that kind of go crazy. But I have some focus for her. So you can get on the ground. Yeah, see, like those kicks. Gotta be careful of those. Mink, mink. All right, but handled her. Okay, so normally the game is gonna want you to go this way. Hey yo, what the fuck? Double sweep. Mink, mink. Stay on the ground. Mink, mink, get up. Yeet! So normally you would continue this way, but you, if you play the game a little bit, there's a shortcut. You go through here. Okay, so we're in here. Okay, then. Apparently, I don't have to fight these people, but I like fighting them anyway. Oh, you can put that pipe down. <laughs> Woo! Who's next? Ooh. You always want to try to go for executions because they're invincible. So they give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a cushion. If you're surrounded and you got an execution up, just take that execution because it'll it'll save your life. Trust me. Let's go through this bit. Now, when I first when I first played this game, I thought that my game crashed, but apparently you have to walk forward a little bit for it to for it to keep going. Now that's the dude, that's the boss who we gotta fight. His name is Sean, and he is a pain in the ass. Step forward. You're about to be tested. There's a little trick to dealing with her too. I'll show you that later though. So now we just gotta fight a bunch of dudes real quick. So you trying to parry though. 
get finished. Ooh. Fight! Put that stick down. Put it down. Bop. Give me this. Stop it. Let me beat up Guy Fieri real quick. See, she's about to smack me, but I took the execution instead. You stupid. Oh, she hit. Oh, he. I made her hit her. The other dude. Oh, he's on the ground. Get on the ground. The winner becomes okay. a king. Got her. And the loser, the now there are sometimes dialogue options in this game that can affect how things go. So if you select the Sean option to the left, your master's mind is broken. You pretty much get to bypass this chick and don't and have to fight her. Down into the abyss. If you didn't want to fight. Why did you come this far? And then you can just walk through it. Normally, you would have to fight her, but now you don't. All right, let's keep it moving. I'm going to look for Sean. There he is. And this level is kind of a little bit trippy because it doesn't hold out of this. And here we go with another uh, another female Abby. On my back. Get on the ground. So we're almost to Sean, who is kind of an annoying boss when you first play. Like, that boss really teaches you to, like, learn the actual mechanics of this game. You kind of have to learn how to dodge, learn how to parry, and all that stuff. Through this door, we have, uh... Oh, that dude just got folded. That's the door that we need to get into, but now we have to fight two of these chodes at the same time. Now, these people are not normal enemies. They are a lot more powerful, and honestly, if you don't really know how to deal with them, which I still don't really know how to, they can be harder than the Sean boss fight itself, so... So you kind of really want to try to divide and conquer these dudes. If you don't, they will violate you, because they have a whole lot of moves that are, like, invincible and do a lot of damage to you. So you kind of want to try to divide and conquer as best you can. I like to just run away until I can, you know, get dudes... Oh, he's on the ground! Mink, mink. We tired of playing with your see, ass, oh, nigga! At, see, looking... Nope, 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 see? Okay, he's done. Cool. But there's a better way to deal with this, but I kind of messed it up. I'm already messing up. Oh my god. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. No way I just died because I fell off that ledge. That's crazy, bro. Yo, I didn't even peep this until I was editing this video. That fall legit did like 30% damage to me. <laughs> That's some bullshit. There we go. I could have easily avoided that that death. I'm pissed, bro. The ones I'm fighting them one-on-one, -on -one, they're not that hard. Ooh. This dude, like, even, like, in the opening of the game, when I see him, I already knew he was going to be a problem. My arms are yours. I just knew he was crazy. Now he's out here burning people like, all right, man, you got it, bro. I recognize that uniform. It represents a school for the weak and feeble. What's up, then? Okay, so with this boss fight for the first phase, it's all about patience and dodging. Like, it's literally just all about patience and just waiting for your opportunity to strike. Get on the ground, mink, mink. And also, if you come over to the side, there's some sticks. You can have a stick, too, to fight them. I have to remember that I'm going for a parry, but I'll, I'll kind of focus on that in the second phase. I've never gone for the parry on this dude, so it, it might be a little bit challenging, if I'm going to be honest. Get on the ground, mink, mink. Get on the ground again, mink, mink. I kind of don't like that there is no, like, lock on camera in this game even though there was one in sifu i'm uh, not sifu in absolver but oh well i guess that's part of the challenge oh, i'm kind of doing it to him get on the ground mink mink i'm not gonna try to finish him i'll just finish him off naturally there we go all right so here we go second phase is about to start Man, kind of just, you know, sets this whole dojo on fire. Tweaked. Straight up arson. All 
All right, let's get it. Now You're this phase is, is a little more difficult because he I no longer he unchallenged at that old bastard. Bro, shut up. Now this phase is a little bit more difficult because he has a there he has uh, some new moves. And he's also a lot more aggressive and a lot more cheesy. If I'm gonna be honest. You have to remember that I'm going for the parry. But it's kind of the same as the first phase, you know? You kind of just wait for your opportunity to get in there. And then capitalize. Oh! Relax. I might die. I might die here, I'm going to be honest. I think he only hit me. Oh, and that's the new attack. That attack hits low, so you kind of have to dodge low. And if you don't know the startup for it, it can definitely mess you up. Get on the ground, mink, mink. Get on the ground again, mink, mink. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to go for the parry. Trying to parry dudes with weapons is kind of tricky. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Watch this goddamn combo. So like I said I might die. There it is. Okay, there's one. Is this a joke? Kind of. Okay, trying to go for these parries is a little bit difficult. You gotta get the timing just right. There it is. Woo! There it is. Normally you would smoke him right here. But hey, we did him. You're spared, Sean. Alright. Got another one X'd off. Two down. Three more to go.